They've been creating music for six decades, and their catalog has been sampled by other artists more than 1,800 times. Please welcome to DBL, Robert Cool Bell. Wow, man. Better than that, we heard your music. Exactly. Yeah. We are all hyped in the studio. Thank you for being here. Okay, thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Cool and the Gang is the most sampled band in hip hop, but do you have a favorite sample? Well, <laughs> there's a couple. I mean, uh, <laughs> Summer Madness and Will Smith changed it to Summertime. Mm. Went number one and went platinum. That was a good one. Well, and I the yellow. It was with Diddy, with Mace, and he, well, he did with Hollywood Swing, you know, bad, bad boy. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I just say the uh, summertime and summer madness really created a lot of divides between, like, the children and the parents. Like, my father was like, that's not what the, what the real song is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they really didn't know. I mean, you're talking about the summer madness and... Uh, the kids that was here, oh no, that's Will Smith. That's summertime. Let me tell you, son, that's cool in the game. Right. Summer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. And and to show you which one lasted, uh, I DJ'd Erica, who you were just speaking with. I DJ'd one of her events. The first thing I played was Summer Madness. Yeah. Without even knowing we were going to speak to you, that's how much your music has just lasted through our lives. So we, have, you are true royalty. So yes. I want to ask you, speaking about this legacy, you've inspired so many artists over the years. But is there one person that stands out the most? Uh, well, I, I have to go back. Uh, I would say, believe it or not, I would say Bruno Mars. Because wow. he's like a young, cool in the gang. Mm -hmm. You know, the style, the way that we used to move, the right. horn licks. You know, as far as, as, far as the up and coming act, well, he ain't even coming on now. He's, he's, <laughs> well, he, Bruno Mars, there's a lot of that, you know, the synchronized background moves with the dancers. Yeah. Yeah. And like he even released uh, the, an album with the Anderson Park that's very kind of like 80s groove. So yeah. definitely, you can see it all through that album. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, sir. Wow. So cool, man. Your music has lasted through the decades. It's timeless. And your brother Ronald was the main songwriter. Where did he get that inspiration from way back when? Well, I mean, uh, he did a lot of the horn lines uh, with Jungle Boogie and uh, Funky Stuff, along with Dennis Thomas and also Spike Mickens. Uh, those were, were, were our singers, those three horns. Until we got a singer, of course. Uh, JT came around, we had a ladies' night, and get that on it, and put some chairs, and on and on and on. Yeah, well, Ronald unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. How did his death affect you personally and the band? Well, uh, definitely a loss. I mean, because he um, was one of the major producers uh, for a lot of our projects. His last project about a year ago was called Perfect Union. Um, the single was Pursuit of Happiness. So it has definitely affected us. We, we miss him. I can't. But his yeah, yeah um, we want to just offer our deepest condolences. I uh, let me ask you about touring because I know a lot of people love to show up and come to your tour. What do you love most about it? Well, that the crowd are into what we do. Um, we travel all over the world. For instance, we just left Germany last year. We played with the German Philharmonic Orchestra. Wow. We did five with them. It was great. They hear the orchestra get down, but we we do that anyway. We've done about ten uh, gigs with uh, orchestras, and each one got their own flavor. So that that has been great. Now something else is a little different. Uh, Forty eight shows uh, with Van Halen, Ooh. ten shows Kid Rock, Jeez. open with Elton John, uh, Rod Stewart, Dave Matthews Band, <laughs> and then we flipped and did something with Gladys Knight in the pits. What about that? Unbelievable. Uh, you can't have a, like, you can't write about a career being that successful. Like, you're doing it. You're releasing a new album, though. Will you ever stop making music? Are you ever going to retire? Uh, yeah, one day. But uh, the, new <laughs> album, the new album is uh, George Brown out there in the West Coast. And uh, his whole concept after COVID that people just want to have fun. Yeah. He wanted to do that kind of a record. The first song was uh, Let's Party. The second song is We Are The Party. Just came out <laughs> last week. So we, we, we are enjoying it. 
We are the party. I wow. love it. TV it was Nation. an honor, buddy. It is an honor. Yeah. Thank you. Check out Cool and the Gang's new Man. album called People Just Want to Have Fun, dropping July 14th. Also, really important, check out Cool's nonprofit. You can donate to the Cool Kids Foundation. Just scan the QR code on your screen for more information. Cool, thank you so much.